Hey everyone, and hello especially to all the long-time subscribers uh, for the channel. Um, I do appreciate you sticking around for so long, even though there hasn't really been any new uploads or any new videos for quite a while. Uh, but I'm still around in the game space, uh, as I'm now a programmer and designer at a little indie game studio called Solar Flare. So feel free to follow us, check us out on social media, whatever. Um, but I'm really pleased to announce that last month we released our first indie game called Monkey Splash. It's a 2D precision platformer. You play as a variety of regional British monkeys. I'm the best diver in the southwest. And you've got to fly to the top of different world famous landmarks and you do a big dive off the top to splash into the swimming pool at the bottom. I forgot my armbands. While you're flying to the top, you've got to avoid different hazards and enemies and you eat different fruits to give you cool power ups. And each level has its own unique banging soundtrack by our very own Spike Foster. Très bien. It's got boss fights. You have races against a roadman rabbit. Man is gas. Back off, G. Each level has different challenges to complete. So if you complete the level in a fast time, or if you collect all the fruit, or if you defeat all the enemies, they will award you a challenge. There are postcards to find on every single level. And we also have Ned, the Easter Island head. Um, and on the level select screen, he can give you cool facts about all the landmarks in the game. Taking 344 years to build, the Tower of Pisa was never meant to be lean, but still does despite many unsuccessful attempts to straighten it. Just let it be a free man. Um, but you can find him in the levels as well and give him a good soak. Uh, just for fun. It has really simple like one click controls, like it's all controlled with a mouse, it's just one mouse button to fire your juice beam to propel your monkey. So it's one control, but the game is still very challenging, it's very, it's very difficult, it's a very tricky game. But I think we've worked hard to give it that kind of like one more go kind of feel, like the restarting is very quick, so if you do die in a level you can just quickly restart, jump back into it. Um, but yeah, I think if you've ever seen, we've done a couple of videos on this channel on the Wallace and Gromit train game, um, so if you're familiar with that, I think it's a similar kind of like challenge to it, where it's like you just want to have one more go and you feel like you can beat it um, if you just persist enough, so I'd say this game is probably harder <laughs> than, the, than the Wallace and Gromit train game. Yeah, I'm super proud of this game. I think it channels a lot of the humour and sort of quirkiness and wackiness which I think we tried to like embody with our game cheese videos um, so it would really mean a lot if you checked it out it's on Steam um, it's £4.99 if you even just wishlist it that would really help us a lot um, so yeah Monkey Splash is available now on Steam so I really hope you'll check that out um, and I guess I want to know do you have what it takes to beat Monkey Splash anyway thanks for watching this video uh, really appreciate it and take it easy. Bye.